Now, your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Anytime you see a decent amount of snow melt during the course of the day, you always have to keep an eye out for how much moisture hangs around for the possibility of patchy fog. And certainly is that chance around tonight. It doesn't look to be everywhere forming, partially because the cloud cover typically limits the amount of fog. So we have one thing working in the favor of fog, which is the recent snow melt, another one working against it, which is a blanket of cloud cover overhead. And I think the end result will be just some scattered fog tonight. Peri periodic cloud cover still ahead for Thursday and Friday with a couple of systems coming our way. On track, though, for a much warmer weekend. Enjoy it while it's here. The cold front will be arriving Sunday night, and then much colder air moves in for the early part of next week. Starting to see a few thinning areas, and maybe you could even call them a few holes forming in the cloud cover over Emporia, but still widespread clouds at Manhattan, as well as in Topeka, mainly cloudy. A few breaks trying to form just a bit. 36 degrees, northerly winds at 6. Most areas picked up anywhere from a dusting to about an inch of snow this morning, and then that has already since melted away. 36 the high after starting out at 27 degrees will be close to those numbers, but maybe a little bit warmer toward the afternoon hours tomorrow. Currently 39 at Clay Center in Junction City, 36 at Burlington, as I mentioned 36 at Billard Airport, Forbes Field at 35, and the winds are light and variable. There is about a 5 to 8 mile per hour wind over the eastern, southern, and some of the western counties as well. Those light winds under a cool, cloudy night gives us patchy areas where you're looking those light yellowish areas. That's where we see maybe some reduced visibility during the late part of the night, early tomorrow. But then that clearing takes place and should clear out of any of that. We'll hold on to a fair amount of cloud cover tomorrow, but at least we'll get rid of any fog. That'll be limited to the morning hours. Scattered cloud cover pretty much widespread over the state. We've seen some one system moving out that would typically help us to clear, but already behind it, the next system on its heels moving in, and that'll help to reform any cloud cover. The holes in the clouds should be temporary tonight, and the end result when you look at future track is mainly cloudy weather through the night, but notice some breaks may form in the sky tomorrow, especially late afternoon over the western and southern areas, only to see the cloud cover return for a while on Friday, but then later Friday, from west to east will start clearing out and that one should last through the weekend. 27 tonight, high temperature tomorrow around 40 degrees, light and variable wind, and most of the day we'll have mainly cloudy skies. Some breaks over the next couple of days and then a lot more break in the cloud cover as we head toward this weekend. 54 on Saturday, 64 on Super Bowl Sunday. Looking at that, we are looking at temperatures this weekend down in Miami to be a little bit warmer, but not a lot warmer. Kickoff temperature will already have cooled back down into the upper 60s. And then post game into the 60s as well. A little bit more of a breeze down in Miami as well. So that is their forecast, but we're not far behind that at 50 or 64, then 55, turning windy on Monday as that colder air moves in and sharply colder late Monday into Monday night down to 23. Could see some scattered light snow on Tuesday with a high of just 29 and only into the mid 30s on Wednesday. And